So in the last class, we have discussed about ambiguity in a grammar. That means there are certain grammars where given an input string, I can create two different syntax tree using the rules of the grammar. Okay. Now, certain in uh, for creating a parser or doing syntax analysis, we need the grammar to be unambiguous. That means we have to always create a uniform syntax tree, okay, for a given input string. Now to do that, that means to remove ambiguity, the programming languages provide certain rules, okay, and we will discuss about those rules today. So the first rule is called as operator precedence. Okay. Now, what does this operator precedence mean? Given a small, uh, let me give you a small example. Suppose I have a arithmetic expression like 4 plus 5 into 9. Okay. Now, if I have the two rules of, a, of the grammar, that is EXPR can be expr plus expr or expr can be expression can be expression into expression or expression can be number okay so using these three rules what i can do i can create a syntax tree for 4 plus 5 into 9 like this way so expression this is into this is expression for this expression can be 9 this is again this is plus this is again expression that is 5 and this expression can be 4 or I can have like this way expression which will be plus this is again expression now this expression will be now splitted as expression into expression okay and now this is 4 this is 5 this is 9 okay so out of these two syntax tree the language tells that the multiplication operator has highest precedence compared to the addition so in that case this syntax tree will be a wrong one and the parser should create this syntax tree okay now the question is how I can apply this operator precedence to remove the ambiguity okay how will I convert this uh, three rules into a different form of rules okay so to do that, so what we are doing here, we are we are first replacing the operator, the rule, we are first applying the rule with highest precedence and creating the subtree, okay, this, this part and then we are applying the rule or the production where the lower precedence operator is present, understood? So first I am creating, I am applying this rule to create this subtree and then I am attaching this subtree with the lower precedence rule. So, so, so if, if we have to convert this production into an unambiguous grammar, then what we need to do, we need to separate out, okay. So I can say that my, I will introduce a new non-terminal expression 1, okay, which will be expression 1 into expression 1 
okay and my expression can be expression one i'll say okay so with this two rule this condition will be satisfied and if i say expression one will be a number then then these two are satisfied okay so these two rules are equivalently i can represent the grammar in this way okay now for addition what we have to do we have to write that expression will be what it will be expression plus expression one plus one so in this way the the operator with highest precedence is substituted first okay compared to the operator with lower precedence so first i will apply this rule okay earlier i was confused whether to apply this rule or this rule i don't know but now it is pretty clear okay which rule to apply okay so as a as a quiz i'll give you a programming assignment so can you write a program that will evaluate an expression arithmetic expression just as what a calculator is doing so i can say my expression can be can contain addition minus division multiplication and division okay and the expression can contain parentheses so so the output should be the value of the expression so suppose i write 4 plus 5 into 3 plus 2 minus 4 divided by 3 plus 2 so it should it should correctly evaluate it okay so so this is a programming assignment write a c or c++ program to evaluate an arithmetic expression so as a hint i'll just tell you that use two stacks one is called operand stack okay and another is called operator stack to evaluate okay okay so this is one rule that is called operator precedence through which we can we can convert an ambiguous grammar to an ambiguous grammar okay now there are certain operators which have same precedence as like suppose 4 plus 5 minus 3 or i can say so plus and minus has the same precedence in c language and 10 into 3 divided by 2 suppose okay so in that case how i will remove the ambiguity okay for that programming languages provide another rule called as associativity rules okay so so as a terminology let us see so i'll say that this operator this uh, I, am, i am denoting like plus with a circle is called left associative if i can say that if a expression of the form a b c is equivalent to sorry c is equivalent to a b first and then c okay similarly i'd say that an operator is called right associative if a b c is equivalent to a b c okay so can you give me an example of left associative operators in c language suppose so for example in c all these arithmetic operators are left associative so 
if a plus b minus c this is equivalent to a plus b minus c okay can you give an example of right associative operators in c so this assignment operator like a i can write a equal to b equal to c so there the associativity is like a equal to b equal to c understood so b will first get the value of c and then a will get the value of b understood so so now let us discuss how this associativity rules can be used to remove the ambiguity in a grammar okay now let us see so suppose i have so let this be an operator which is left associative okay and i have in the grammar file i have something like expression is expression expression okay so and my expression can be a number okay now if this this operator is a left associative operator then i can remove the ambiguity by converting it into a grammar by introducing a new non terminal okay so i can say that expression will be so i i'll make this production as a left recursive grammar so it will be expression operator expression 1 and i will say that my expression can be expression 1 okay and i will and expression 1 is a number plus two so in this way for a left associative operators we can apply the we can convert the rules to represent an unambiguous grammar okay what about right associative operators so suppose i have a associative operator which is so suppose so if this is a right associative then how i would have converted this associative then the above grammar can be converted to an unambiguous grammar by replacing the left first to a, with a new non terminal so expression will be expression 1 and expression understood so my recursive things is coming in the right hand side for right associative my recursive things is, is coming in the left hand side in the left associative operators and i will say expr can be expr1 and expr1 is a number okay so as is so with these two rules i can remove the ambiguity of grammar okay there are certain th uh, certain ambiguous things which we can uh, which for which the languages provide extra things like if else if kind of thing so 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 if i say if condition then statement 1 okay then again if condition so if condition then again if condition statement 2 else statement 2 then this else should be uh, mapped with which if statement so that is called a dangling if else stat if else scenario okay so those things we'll discuss later so as a quiz what i will provide you so suppose i have a small arithmetic small grammar for uh, for a calculator suppose which does only addition subtraction and uh, multiplication division so expression is expression plus expr 
ex pair is expression minus ex pair then ex pair is expression into expression and ex pair is expression divided by expression okay so i have four operators and this expression can also be a number so my question is so clearly this is a ambiguous grammar so my question is convert this to a unambiguous grammar using precedence rule and what is my precedence rule the precedence rule is into and divide has more precedence and the second thing is all these operators are left associative in nature so convert this grammar to an unambiguous grammar okay thanks